Okay, so <laughs> sorry for the delay in getting to you. So today we are talking about what do I do if the scale isn't moving? How do I not throw in the towel? How do I not lose motivation? Over and over and over, what I'm encountering with women is their disbelief in themselves because they think, well, what I did in the past, I will do again. And you're right. What I have done in the past, I will do again unless I become a new person. And you know, that sounds like a really big chore, but I'm going to show you how it can be really easy to change your thoughts so that you can become that person that you want to be. Sounds awesome, right? So uh, yes, it's true that we will continue to, the same person will repeat the same pattern. So let's become new people. Are you in with me? Okay, so have you ever, um, let's see, have you ever gotten on a scale and the scale doesn't say what you think it should say? Have you ever been so excited to put on your skinny jeans and you put them on and they're still tight? Have you ever thought, oh, I'm going to put on this shirt and it's going to look different. My bra is going to be lighter. It's not going to fit as tight. Have you ever had expectations that just aren't met related to your weight loss? Yeah, we all have. And you know what? You know, when people say like, oh, you're not alone. That doesn't make me feel better. I don't, I don't want to be in this club. So let me teach you how to get out of this club, because the truth is, is that you will have long-term success when you can change your thoughts. And I'm doing an entire workshop tonight on how to learn how to coach yourself specifically around stress eating. And it's a lot of the stuff that I'm going to teach you tonight. So if you show up tonight, we will actually be able to do your specific situation. Okay. So how do you not lose motivation? Okay. What I want to show you is that the really big thought error here is only in your expectations. Right. So you think I should be, when I step on the scale, I should be something. When I put on the skinny jeans, they should fit. You also think this shouldn't be hard. Why should this be hard? I've been doing this for blank many months. Why am I being tempted now? I've overcome this temptation so many times. Why is now it feeling like crazy, crazy intense? Why do I have this craving? I haven't had this craving for six months. Why do I have this craving that I feel like I have to give in? So the, the point is, is that it's all in your thought thinking it shouldn't be that way. So let's say specifically, um, let's talk about the scale thing. Okay. And I want to show you how you start to sabotage yourself simply by the thoughts that you create. And the best part is I'll show you how to get out of that sabotage to create a success spiral so that you can continue to live according to your values and according to your plan. Because what you really want is long-term success. What you really want is long-term success, right? Nobody works hard and wants the results to go away in six months or even six years. You want it to be a lifetime. If you're going to work this hard, you want to have those lasting results so you never, ever, ever have to do it. Am I right? And I will teach you that tonight. I will teach you how to make sure that you don't lose motivation. Nobody wants to lose motivation. When we start forgetting about ourselves, then we get into that spiral. Okay, so the link above is for the webinar tonight and get on that. All right, so here's what we find happens. I'm gonna use the scale thing. I get on the scale and what I wanna teach you is that every circumstance in your life is neutral. Oh, you guys can't even see that. How about this? Can you see that? Yes, you can. Every circumstance in your life is 100% neutral. Believe it or not, getting on the scale, although it feels like the end of the world, it re I'll show you how it is actually neutral. So I get on the scale and I expect it to be one pound down, two pounds down. Let's say, oh, we'll split it in the middle, right? What do they say? One to two pounds a week. I expect the scale to be one to two pounds lighter. And it's not. So I'm thinking to myself, this isn't, this isn't working. This, I, I don't know, you know, this isn't working. I should be one to one and a half to two pounds lighter. Um, so 
this isn't working is what you're thinking. And you know, I'm just, this isn't working. And so at this point, if we were coaching, I would probably ask also, is that so? This isn't working. Is it true that it's really not working? And then you would probably have the opportunity to um, list all of your successes. So we can look at some of the evidence. But um, so that leaves you feeling defeated. And we know that feelings drive our actions. So it's what we do or do not do. And my question to you is when you're feeling defeated, what do you do? And in our fantasy person here, I'm just going to go by the women that I talk to. What they do is they might eat crap and maybe not like throw you know the whole baby out with bath water, but might let some other foods in that they don't really necessarily want to. And then that might end up into a second day of just a little bit extra. And then a third day of just a little bit extra. They mope. And I don't even know. I mean, I don't even know if that's how you spell the word mope. I know it's not M-O-P because that's mop, but I am like a C minus speller. Maybe they'll call a friend and they'll complain some more. They'll speak to their kids, spouse, whatever. They're spinning out in their head and they're kind of obsessed by like, this isn't working. This isn't working. Okay, so what you're not doing at this point is you're not uh, staying on plan. Or you probably don't even have a plan for this because the truth is, is that anytime we're working toward the goal, anytime we're trying to change ourselves, we're going to have setbacks. We're going to have what feels like a failure. We're going to have expectations not met. And we need to have a plan that says, hey, when I have this expectation not met, what will I do about that? And I'll teach you that. So um, I'll teach you that um, not as much so in the webinar tonight, but I will teach that to you in our renew challenge. So that's a 12 week program. So what happens is I prove that I'm defeated because I'm eating crap, moping around and spinning out about this. Okay, so it just becomes this vicious sabotage spiral and it's so easy it's so easy for all of us to get into that okay so you're like denise but how do i not throw in the towel when the scale is down well i will show you okay so the first thing is is that we need to learn how to manage our expectations the only reason why you want to throw in the towel is because you think it doesn't work you think when i get on the scale i should be 1.5 to 2 pounds lighter I think that after three months, I should weigh this. I think, you know, I've got all these beliefs about expectations and they're really just thought errors. So if I'm telling myself 90% of the time, I should be down two pounds when I weigh on Friday, I should be down two pounds on Friday. Like the whole week I'm sticking to my plan because I should be down two pounds on Friday. I'm spending 90% of my brain power telling myself this so it, it feels like truth I mean it feels like gospel so what if we could change that to where you're actually telling yourself something that is true and that won't lead you and trip up into that sabotage spiral okay so what would you when we change into a Success spiral, and I call it a success spiral. Um, this is based on the self-coaching model by Brooke Steele, but I like to call it a success spiral because it helps us take the same situation and move up toward our goals and our values. So the question would be, when I step on the scale, how would I like to handle that, okay? The circumstance doesn't change. So uh, scale, step on the scale and it is, right? We're not expecting, it just happens to be a certain weight, whatever the weight is. How would I like to handle that? What would I like to be doing 
or not doing. So this is where we start. Come to the webinar tonight. We'll get to do your specific situation. Well, what I'd like to do is to stay on plan. Right. I want to get on the scale, but I, I still want to stick to my plan. What I'd like to do is to acknowledge that sucks. Oh, man. Ugh. Process your feelings. Because, ouch. I mean, that hurts. Guys, when you're working super hard, I don't know. It's going to sting. But when I go eat crap, it's not going to take the sting away. That'll be a huge part of our Renew program is learning how to deal with these disappointments. But I'm going to stay on plan. I'd also like to have maybe some extra self-care, a little extra self-love. Maybe like, ah, honey, this sucks. You deserve to wear your new underwear. Let's go get some undies. Let's go wear your warm socks. Why don't we spend 15, 20 more minutes on your book today? And you're also going to work that defeated or disappointed or failure plan so that you know when you encounter that feeling, you know, like, eh, or setback, whatever you want to call that plan, you want to work it. What you don't want to do is sabotage your results. You don't want to sabotage yourself. You know you don't. This isn't what you want. You don't want to forget about yourself. You don't want that. Again, another huge part of our Renew program, because every week we got to come together and we need to not sabotage ourselves. You need to remember what you're doing because your brain, that whole defeated brain that we looked at before, this cat, this cat's always gonna like try to sneak back in because this is what you're used to. How many years have you been living like this? Many years, many years, many years. All right, so for you to be able to stay on plan, process your feelings, give yourself that time, call a friend, call your coach, give yourself a little extra self-care, come up with a, you know, a plan. What is my plan when I'm feeling so defeated? you have to think how about this one this is part of the process now when we come up with these thoughts i mean yours is going to be individual which is why i'm encouraging you to come to the webinar because whatever feels on a gut level like yeah yeah, I believe that. That's true. Yes, this is part of the process. I'm going through um, some thought work right now with something that I think you know, it's, it's business wise that I think should be like boom, boom, boom. And I'm saying to myself, no, this is exactly what should be happening. And when I come from that place, just like you, I feel calm. So when I step on that scale and the scale is blank, you know, you know that number that you're expecting. I can say to myself, this is part of the process because I've been practicing it too, okay? This is part of the process, which helps me feel calm. And when I'm calm, I'm able to stay on plan, process my feelings that are E, ouch, it hurts. Because, but I'm not creating a need to sabotage myself, right? There's no like, that, that's like not part of the plan that wouldn't help in any way. I'm not feeling defeated. I'm feeling like this is part of the process. So what needs to happen, my friends, is although this sounds beautiful and written on a piece of paper, is that you need, and you can do this. I'm gonna teach you that tonight. The other piece, though, is for women who want results faster or they want, they find that they remember this for a little bit and they start forgetting about themselves. That's where you need that long-term 
always coming back and back and back. And, you know, we're doing that renew program. So above, we have two links. You need to click one of those. Number one is for the webinar tonight. So you can teach this. So you can learn how to do this yourself. And then I'll also pick your specific situation. I'm going to stay on and coach afterwards. So that, and I would encourage you to join the wait list. The 12 week program, the Renew Challenge, renewing your, the way you eat and think, anchored in a scripture study. So this is for Lent and beyond. Get on that wait list so you know about that too. So anything you guys put in the comments, I'll be coaching on. But aside from that, I hope you have a blessed day and I will see you all back tomorrow. Oh, I didn't even introduce myself. So my name is Denise Jelinek. And what I do is I help women who are over 40 figure this crap out so that they can remember themselves and become the women that they want to, that they've been thinking about becoming for years. And they always get on the trail, but then something comes up and they fall in that hole. You know, that hole, that whole stuff. Hey, have a blessed day. I'll see you back tomorrow. Thanks for watching.